a little bit of a rough um, night last night and it is not due to Callan because <laughs> that's usually the person that will keep me up <laughs> at night. It was due to my dog and um, she doesn't like fireworks or thunderstorms so it's a good thing we don't live in Oklahoma anymore because thunderstorms don't um, move very quickly in Oklahoma. They stay for like three or four hours or the whole, whole freaking night. So um, that's when things at our house would get um, destroyed is during a thunderstorm, especially if we weren't home. But um, last night, you know, the fireworks, which she was very good with. And I mean, they were kind of constantly going off um, we live in our town, we live kind of on the, the edge of like the, um, of the town. So it's a little bit more rural as you kind of go further out. So we live kind of on the edge of this, of the city, which is nice, but I think people cook a little bit more ham <laughs> with the fireworks, but, um, they lasted till about 11 ish which is totally cool. You know, it's a Saturday, you know, Sunday's the next morning, but when you have a dog that doesn't like it and, you know, shaking and quivering. So one firework goes off at 3 a.m. <laughs> 3 a.m. Not cool. But, um, so of course it woke me up, then it woke my dog up. And then she hadn't ate or went outside. So I had to go um, take her outside. And she did this thing, which I think is annoying. Um, she, I let her outside. She comes scratching at the door like she wants to come in. Then I open the door and she runs off. I'm like, this is not the time to be playing games or wanting to be feisty so go potty and come back inside so I kind of just stand there and she runs around for about uh, it's probably less than five minutes I let her in lock the door then I go open the uh, area where we have her food and water and I just leave that open and then I go back to sleep and I probably didn't get back to sleep until like 3 30 3 45 and then guess who gets up 6 a.m i guess it could have been worse it could have been 5 a.m but talon comes tromping into the bedroom and is ready to start his day so mama gets up and does all the things with him and And um, have my cup of coffee and then let dad sleep in because he slept with dad. Um, so we hang out and about <clears throat> 9.30, I'm like, I tell my husband, I'm like, okay, it's, it's your turn. I'm tapping out and I'm laying down <clears throat> and Talon started doing this thing where he is <clears throat> screaming. Not like a light scream, like a full on top of his lungs scream. And, you know, just because he's, I, I put this on a Facebook post, but just because he's nonverbal does not mean he's quiet. He is probably the least quiet person in this whole house. Um, I had a good friend remind me that, um, you know, he's just exploring his voice, which he definitely is. But when you're trying to take a nap or you're on the phone or you're trying to work it's just not fun but um yeah I'm so I'm trying to take this I'm in bed trying to take a nap and between the screaming and then not only does he scream sometimes he knows I'm back here <sighs> excuse me sometimes he knows I'm back here trying to take a nap he'll go to the door and start kicking it so he's yelling and screaming and kicking my door. Oh, the life of a special needs mom. 
I love that little boy. I do. Dang it. Just trying to take a nap. And now I can't. I'm not even sure if I can take a nap. But I may. Even if I don't take a nap, I will lay back here, watch YouTube, or relax for at least a couple of hours. So if you're a special needs mom, and even though you can't nap, try to get a couple of hours where you do something you want to do. If it's read, if it's just relax, meditate, nap, maybe it's a power nap. But um, that's one thing that I do that I'm, I'm very glad that I do is just um, I tell my husband, look, I'm tapping out. You're going to take over for a couple hours, which he does. And, you know, it's not, it's not an issue. But, you know, get in the habit of having your spouse or if you have an older child, I have um, a teenager. You know, I'm just like, hey, you got you got to help me out. I need I just need a couple of hours just to regroup, you know. It will do amazing things. So I'm gonna take my nap. I may may take a nap. Um, I did get a nap in yesterday and it was amazing. <laughs> so on the weekends I try to get I try to get a nap in. During the week not, that's not gonna happen, just work and too much things going on. But I I'm all about that nap life on the weekend. So night night. Hopefully, I might get a nap, or I'm just going to chill out for a couple hours. Okay, this thing is pretty pimp. I got this on Amazon, and it pops up. I was able to pop it up all by myself, and then it just kind of folds up into that bag. And then you can, if you're not using it, you can like zip it up like this. And you can also do that from the inside. So then it has these little vents. Let's see what that is. And then you can also close those vents up. And then when you're ready to take it apart, you just pull that and it collapses down and then you roll it up. Pretty darn cool, I think. Okay, we got our oven preheating, got the meatloaf all mixed and ready to go. Then we'll pop it in the oven. Tell him where are you going? What? That's a nine hour and four minute drive. Come back, Talon. Hi. You can actually fly there. Oh, yeah. Talon, are you all clean? Are you clean? Are you ready to go night nights? 